Hi, welcome back. And now we're going to talk about neutrals. And neutrals are, are your very best friend. Without neutrals, your painting is going to be either boring or loud or nobody's going to stop and look at it because there's no really place to go because there's no place to rest. And neutrals are invaluable. And a lot of people don't use neutrals because they don't really understand how to get them, how to use them. They don't understand their importance. So remember though that if you go to the symphony, remember when you're sitting there and they all, they're, they all come out and they sit down and, and then they all start playing their instruments because they're warming up. It just sounds like a, a, a all loud. You don't hear the French horns or you don't hear the clarinets. But once they start playing, then you hear the individual instruments. It's like painting in the fact that you, if you have all of these loud colors, actually no one sees them because they just see, they just, it's like, a, it's like mashing all of them together. So you neutrals are your very best friend. And there are several ways to get neutrals. I mean, you can mix all kinds of colors to get neutrals. But if you mix your primaries, uh, a primary, your red or your green, and you, and you tone it down with a lot of white, you're going to get a beautiful brown. You can't buy them in a, in a tube. These colors that you make sing. They are fabulous. They're wonderful. Don't just buy neutrals. If you buy a neutral, let's say it's a Payne's gray, mix it with some other colors so that it's, it's got life. Because life is what you want in your paintings. You want the colors to be uh, what I call no-name colors. You want people to look at them and say, what is that color? I had one gal say, I want that for my bathroom. How did you get it? And so neutrals are great. Neutrals are fun. I think the key is, particularly if you're doing uh, uh, acrylics, remember they dry one shade darker. If you're doing oils, it's the same. If you're doing watercolors, it's one, one shade lighter. So remember that. And um, also remember that I know we love color, as I've said, but your, your bright colors are really going to sing if you've got neutrals. So make neutrals your best friend. It's worth it. It's worth learning how to get them, what to get. And one thing that I do is, is I love going to the uh, paint store. And I look through their little samples of paint. I really love Benjamin Moore because they have all the little bottles of, of paint. And I, I look at those and I say, oh my gosh, I would love to get that color. Now, here's the thing. Remember, if you get a good quality uh, paint like Benjamin Moore or uh, many of the others, you can use that. I, I paint with paint, I mean, house paint all the time. So if you, if you go and buy one of those little samples, great, use it on your next painting. It's already mixed and then you can go over it with the transparent and make it yours as well. I love using the uh, already mixed at, at Benjamin Moore. I love it. I don't have one in Taos, so I really miss it. But neutrals bring out the best. And the painting that I'm going to go through and show you, this is what I'm going to use a lot of. I'm going to use a lot of neutrals. So 
I, what I want you to do is to embrace neutrals as part of this wonderful part of painting. And if you're doing abstracts, you really need your neutrals. If you're doing landscapes, the greens out there are neutrals. Uh, look at nature. Nature is your best teacher. Nature has the majority of neutrals. Very few, very few scenes in nature are just like bursting with all of this all color. When you, when you see the flowers and the fields, it's usually the purple and the yellow together, but they stand out because there's a neutral background. So anyway, enjoy making your neutrals and I'll see you in the next video.